Creating a car racing game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript can be fun and challenging way to learn web development. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of creating a car racing game using these technologies. First, let's talk about HTML. HTML is a markup language used to structure web pages. When creating a car racing game, you'll need to use HTML to create the game board, game pieces and rules. You'll also need to use CSS to style the game board and the game pieces. CSS styles web pages and is used to give the game a visual appeal. Next, let's talk about JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language used to add interactivity to web pages. When creating a car racing game, you'll use JavaScript to add actions to game pieces and rules to the game board. You can use JavaScript to add animations, sounds and effects to the game, making it more engaging and realistic. With all these technologies in place, you can start creating your car racing game. You will need to create game pieces such as cars, roads and obstacles. You can also create rules such as speed limits and points for winning. Once you have all these elements in place, you can use JavaScript to add interactivity to the game. You can create animations, sounds and effects to make the game more engaging. So whether you are just getting started with web development or you are a seasoned pro, creating a car racing game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript can be fun and challenging way to learn these technologies. And if you are looking for more resources on web development, we have a bunch of other videos and tutorials on our channel that can help you get started. Also, if you are eager to enhance your coding skills across various domains of software engineering, you might want to consider a Caltech Coding Bootcamp. With our state-of-the-art Caltech Coding Bootcamp, you can learn to code and become a full-stack developer within six months. Get fully immersed in this accelerated coding bootcamp and become a valued software engineer ready to take on any challenges on the job. This bootcamp covers the basics of several different frameworks including Spring Boot, Web Services, Servlets and JSPs, MVC, JavaScript, MongoDB and much more. These skills will empower you to kickstart your career as a versatile full stack developer. So take advantage of this opportunity. The course link is provided in the description box below. So let's start creating some car racing games and build our web development skills. Before we move ahead to this another JavaScript game, I'll recommend you to go through the previous video wherein we created Flappy Bird from scratch. So I want you to go through that video because many of the things will remain same in this particular video as well. So please go through that video as well. Today we'll create a car game in which we have to save a car from obstacles coming towards our vehicle. I don't know the exact name for this game but let me give you an overview of this game real quick. So here is the game you can see over the screen wherein we have a red car on the road and we have to protect this car by moving to the left or right. All we have to do is to protect this red car from collision with the blue one. Now I know the graphics for these games are not too much appealing but if you want to make a high end graphics game then JavaScript is not the only language you can use. We have to use many different JS libraries and maybe several other programming languages along with JavaScript to achieve this task. So let's focus on these small games for now and we'll go ahead step by step. Now in this particular game if you see here we have three images. One is of red car, the other one is of blue car and a road behind them right. So let's move on to the programming part directly and most of the parts will remain the same like that of flappy birds. Let's move on to VS Code. So here is our game. This is the HTML file and then we have a CSS file and a JavaScript file for this game. Now what we'll do first is we'll create a div tag. We have to protect a block, right? We have to move the container either to the left or to the right. So for that we have to create div tags. So first of all we'll write here div. We'll take this particular div tag for the game and we'll write here another div with id as game fine now we have two div tags over here now what we'll do first is we'll add images for red car and for blue car right so what we'll do is we'll take two div tags and we'll write here id as blue car for the blue car and then we'll write here img src the source will be blue.png so we have a file named blue.png which is actually an image and what we'll do is we'll write here alt 
so the alternate will be blue car fine we'll copy this piece of code and we'll do the same for red vehicle as well so instead of blue car we'll name the id as red car the image source we have in a computer is red.png and alternate will be red car fine now we have added the two cars to our div tag or we can say to our html file save it go to the browser so this is our document you can see here we have a blue car and we have a red car you can see we have both images over here but the size is different the blue car looks big and the red one is pretty small right not to worry we'll figure it out in the css part so let's do the rest of the html part here what we'll do is we'll move to our html file again and now one thing you might have noticed in the game here is on collision we are getting a card for game over so we have to create this div tag as well so let's finish the html part first what we'll do is we'll write here div again and this time the id will be result so we are preparing for the game over part right now what we'll do is we'll write here h1 heading so inside h1 we'll write game over so let me show you why we are doing this so if you can see here on collision we have game over right so game over we have to write here now what we'll do is we'll write here game over like this the next thing we need is the score so what we'll do is we'll write here p so we'll use the paragraph tag the id will be score and the score will do in javascript part now what we have to do is we have to add the restart button as well so for that we'll write here button id is equals to let's say btn and we'll use the on click event so on click we'll write here location dot reload we'll call this function so this is a built-in function in javascript what this function will do is it will refresh the whole page fine the game will start again so we have added another div tag for the score here we have a heading game over and a paragraph with id as score and then we have a button to reload the web page now let's style these elements and make them look like a game so what we'll do is we'll move to the css file now here's a css file we'll first write here some code for the whole html document so for inside this we'll define margin and the default margin will be zero similarly we'll define padding as well so the default padding will also be zero now the next thing we have to do is we have to write here some code for the body fine here what we'll do is we'll use two colors at a specific angle of 45 degrees we have already been through the webkit linear gradient property in the previous game which is flappy bird so what we'll do is we'll write here let's take a background color let's say the background color is this kind of sky blue now the next thing we'll do is we'll take a background image and inside this we'll write webkit linear gradient we have already been through this in the previous game so we'll write here 45 degree this is the angle and then we'll define two colors here so our two colors will be gray and the next one will also be gray but a little bit different from this one so we'll write here 45 percent it will take 45 percent of the screen and then we'll write here hash so this is the code for dark gray color and we, it will take the rest 55 percent of the screen fine save it for now go to the web browser so you can see here we have two different colors present over here in a web browser the colors are divided at an angle of 45 degree what we can do here is we can write here 50 50 instead for both the colors save it now move to the browser and here you can see you can clearly spot the difference here so here you can see these two colors are different now we'll leave it here you can do this thing as you wish so moving ahead we'll write here min height will be 800 pixels fine save it now move to the browser and here you can see we have a background color set for this particular web page now 
so after the body tag we'll do some styling for the game container so here you can see we have the id as game for the first div tag so what we'll do is we'll write here game we'll we'll write some properties here we'll write here height so the height will be 500 pixels then we'll write here width the width of the box is let's say 300 pixels and the border will also define so the border will be black and the border will be one pixel thick solid and black in color fine save it you can see over here so we can't see anything for now so let's style this first completely what we'll do is we'll write here margin so the margin will be one rem auto now right here we'll write background image so the background image is the one we already have in a folder the name for that image is road1.png now we'll write here background size so we'll write here contain to fit this image inside the container and we'll write here overflow as hidden fine save it move to the browser and here you can see now we have a div tag present over here we have a container over here and we have the blue image only for now now what we'll do next is we'll style these images as well so first we'll do the same for blue car we'll write here blue car and inside this we'll write height as 100 pixels width will be 130 pixels so there's a specific reason behind writing this 130 pixel we'll understand it later now the background color for this car will be let's say blue for the blue one and we'll write here position so the position will be relative next up we'll write here top top will be zero pixels so remember the value for these properties we'll need them later in the javascript part now what we'll do next is we'll write here left as zero pixels now next up we'll write here text align as center and animation so this animation we have already been through it now what we'll do is we'll write here move after one second the animation should be linear and it should be infinite fine now this animation we have to define but before that we'll write here blue car img so here what we'll do is we'll define the height of image we'll write here height as 100 pixels fine now save this go to the browser and here you can see we have a blue car present at the top left corner of a container now what we'll do is we'll define the animation for this particular div tag right so here is a car present at the top left corner so what we'll do is we'll move this box to the middle of the screen so we have already done it i guess but there is some mistake so here you can see we have given space between one ram save it now and here you can see we have a box present at the center of a screen now we are good to go next up we'll define the animation so we'll write here at the rate keyframe and instead of identifier the identifier we have here is move fine so inside this we'll write here zero percent at zero percent the top will be zero fine zero pixels and at hundred percent the top will be 501 pixels fine now one thing to notice here is the total height of the container is 500 pixels and the animation will go till 501 pixels save it now move to the browser and here you can see the car is still not moving so we have made a mistake here so here's a mistake we have to write here move only save it now 
and here you can see the animation is going swiftly now so the car starts from 0 pixel and goes till 501 pixel so it will happen infinitely because we have used a infinite inside the animation property what we'll do next is we'll do the same for red car as well fine so here you can see we have a red car the id is red car for this so what we'll do is we'll write here hash red car and we'll start styling this red car as well the height will remain the same the height will be 100 pixels and then we have the width the width will be 130 pixels for this car as well the background color will be red because the car color is also red position will be relative for this as well the top will be 250 pixels let's say and the left will be 130 pixels fine now what we are doing here is we are taking the left as 130 pixels why so because what we want is we want the car to be present at 130 pixels away from the left corner of the box so that's why we have written 130 pixels over here inside the left property now the next thing we'll write here is text align and text align will be center fine we'll do the same thing for red car as well here we'll write here red car img we have to write here hash as well now inside this we'll define the height of this image we'll write here height as 100 pixels fine save it now go to the browser and here you can see we have a red and blue car over here now the box seems to be a little bit less wide for these two cars so what we'll do is we'll write the width here as 390 pixels so that it will be divided equally in three parts save it now and here you can see now this box looks totally fine we have a red car present in the center we can move it to the left and to the right so we are done with styling these three images next up we have to style the result part as well right so here you can see in this particular game we have a card over here with a different background the game over color is white and this color is gray i guess the button color is black and the restart color is sky blue fine so we have to keep all these things in mind we have to style this box as well so what we'll do is we'll write here result and inside this we'll write height height will be 200 pixels for this box then we'll write here width and width will be 400 pixels so we want a rectangle for this next up we'll write here background color so let's define the RGB value the RGB value for this particular color is 231 comma 105 comma 105 that's because we want to make the exact same game so that's why we are using the RGB values here save it now move to the browser and here you can see we have the game over card over here and the game over color is black and the card color is pinkish we can say now we'll move to a CSS file we'll write here margin and the margin will be one RAM auto next up we'll write here border radius so we want the box to be a little bit round from the edges so for that we'll write here border radius as 20 pixels and then we have font size as 30 pixels for game over then we'll write here text align we want to align the text at the center of this box game over color will be white fine so we'll write here white and we are done with it save it and here you can see we have a box over here we have a game over card over here now what we want is we want to hide this thing right so for that we have to write here display as none save it now and you can see we don't have this game over box over here anymore now moving back to our CSS file what we'll do is we'll remove this particular statement for now save it and here's our box again we'll add this property later so for now what we'll do is we'll write here score now what we have to do is we have to write here 
font size as 2.2 rem i hope you guys must have searched for the rem keyword now we'll discuss this keyword again in the next video so for now we'll write here color and the color will be let's say take any color of your choice so we'll write here gray or we can say let's take golden rod i don't know which color is it but let's take it once save it and you are not getting anything over here because we haven't defined it yet so we'll see it later now the last thing we have to do here is with the button right so we'll use the button id for that we'll write here btn and inside this we'll write padding so padding will be 0.5 rem and 1 rem for left now we'll write here border radius for this button is 20 pixels because the button is a little bit round at the corners next up we'll write here border is none we don't need any border for this particular button then we'll write here background color is let's say black we'll write here the color is which color we should take let's take this one now we'll write here margin top so let's say the margin top will be 10 pixels next up we'll write here cursor so cursor will be pointer fine cursor will change to pointer on taking it over the restart button we'll write here text transform we want to transform this text to uppercase fine save it now move back to the browser and here you can see we have a game over over here but this tag is not working for now so let's see what's wrong here okay so we have to write here restart save it now and here you can see we have a button over here we have a restart button over here the button looks a little bit small so what we have to do is we have to do some styling change here we'll take let's say the font size so we'll write here font size is let's say 25 pixels save it now and here you can see the button is quite right now so we are done with it what we'll do is we'll add the display property here we'll write here display none save it and the box is gone fine now we are done with the css part as well now we have to make this game responsive only that will do with the help of javascript so let's move on to the javascript file first here's a javascript file now we'll access all the html elements here in the javascript file because we need them so what we'll do is we'll write here where blue car is equals to document dot get element by id so the id for blue car is blue car we'll write here where red car document dot get element by id so the id is red car for the red one next up we'll write here where a result will get result as well we'll write here document dot get element by id and inside this we'll write result fine we are accessing all the elements with the help of get element by id method now what we'll do is we'll write here where score so the score will write here document dot get element by id and again we'll write here score then we'll write here where game document dot get element by id the id for game is game fine we'll take another variable here let's say the variable name is variable counter to count the number of cars passing through the red one to get the final score basically so we'll initialize the value as zero for this counter variable now the next thing we have to do is to make the blue car move randomly in three positions right for that we'll use math.random function again we have used this function previously in the flappy birds game so we'll write here 
blue card dot add event listener will add an event so we'll write here animation iteration so this is a predefined event listener in javascript so for this we'll create a function here we'll write here function and we'll define the function as well fine so we'll take a variable let's say random and we'll write here math dot floor math dot random so this is a predefined function in javascript we'll write here into 3 and right here we'll write 130 fine why 130 because 130 is the default width which we have taken in our css file so we'll write here blue car dot style dot left is equals to the value of random in pixels fine then we'll increase the value of counter after every car passes through after every blue car passes through the red one save it and move to the browser you can see the blue car has three positions over here can either come from the left right or from the center any random number from these three numbers will get multiplied to 130 so we have three positions only any random position let's say the position is one it means that the car is present at the left so that particular number will be multiplied with 130 and the left value of the blue car will change to that particular number the logic is simple if the number randomly taken is 2 then the random value will become 260 in that case and the blue car will have a distance of 260 pixels from the left side of the container so this was the reason behind taking the width of container as 390 i hope you guys can relate to it now so let's move ahead and write the code for moving the red car as well so you can see the red car is not moving as of now we'll make it move so let's write the code for that as well we'll move to a javascript file and we'll write here window dot add event listener we'll add an event here we'll write here key down and we'll define a function here fine so we'll take a parameter inside this function now what we'll do is we'll write here if e dot key code is equals to is equals to 39 then what will happen is we'll take a variable where red car left is equals to we'll write here percent window dot get computed style we'll get the computed style of red car and we'll write here get property value fine we'll take the property value here as well. we'll take the left value so we'll write here left and we'll write here if red car left is less than 260 pixels then red car dot style dot left will change to red car left plus 130 and the value will change to pixels as well fine now we'll write the code for another key as well so we have to add two keys over here what we'll do is we'll write here if e dot key code is equals to is equals to 37 this key code over here represents the left and the right arrow key of our keyboard so that's why we are using here key code as 37 and 39 39 is the default key code for the right arrow key and 37 is for the left arrow key 
so what we'll do here is we'll write here where red car left is equals to percent so what we'll do is we'll copy this from here and we'll paste it here fine this will remain the same now what we'll do is we'll write here if red car left is greater than zero then it will change the style so we'll write here this and here what we'll do is we'll change the value of red car to red car left minus 130 pixels so we are moving the car to the left or to the right fine now we are done with it now save it and move to the browser and now here you can see we are able to move the red car to the left or to the right as well fine now we are good to go so the next thing we have to do is to write the code for collision of these two cars or we can say the function for game over as well fine so let's head back to our javascript file and we'll create another function over here so what we'll do is we'll take certain values and pass them through some conditions if any of the requirements fail then the game is over the logic is simple let's implement this logic so what we'll do is we'll write here set interval so we'll use the set interval method and we'll write here function so let's say the function name is game over we'll now define the body of this function now let's discuss some things what we need is we need the top property of blue car we need the left property of blue car and then we need the left property of a red car fine so we'll take three variables we'll write here where blue car top then we'll take where blue car left and then we'll take where red car left fine so we have these three variables over here now what we'll do is we'll write we'll get these values first so we'll again use the get computed style property and the get property value we'll write here percent and inside this we'll write window dot get computed style so the computed style is of the blue car then we'll write here get property value we'll write here top because we need the top value we'll do the same thing for blue car left and for red car left fine so we'll change the values here we'll write here left for the blue car left and we'll write here left for the red car fine we are good to go we have these three variables and we have the properties right we have the value of these particular properties now we'll write here certain conditions we'll use the if statement again we'll write here if blue car left is equals to red car left let's replace this left with a capital L and we'll write here and then blue car top is greater than 250 and blue car top is also less than 450 so we need the blue car in between 250 and 450 for collision right what we'll do is we'll write here result dot style dot display so we'll change the display property of a result element we'll write here is equals to block now we need a game over card over the game and we'll also change the display property of game as well we'll write here game dot style dot display as none fine we don't want the game for this now the next thing we'll do is we'll write here score so for that we'll write here score dot inner html is equals to let's say it says your score is and we'll write here dollar we have a variable counter right we'll print the value of counter here fine now there is an error over here you can see so what we have to do is we have to put them inside this 
will not use the double inverted commas will use this instead and you can see the error over here is gone now so we are good to go now after that we'll change the value of counter to zero again in case the user wants to restart the game the value of counter will start from zero again now we want to call this function after a certain interval of time so we'll write here 10 and we are good to go so the set interval method will be called after 10 milliseconds now the same thing we did for flappy birds as well so some conditions here are almost same and the output is also the same as we had for flappy birds now save it and you can see on the browser that our game is completely fine now it's working totally fine so we can play this game now let's play it once so here you can see we can move our red car and the blue car is coming randomly from any of the three directions it means that it can either come from the left or from the center or from the right fine on collision you can see it shows that the game is over and the score is 13 now on clicking the restart button we can restart the game the page reloads again and it's working totally fine now we have to create this particular game and we can see that the game is completely done we can play this game anytime and it's fun as well of course so we can do certain things with the graphics as well i want you guys to do that thing and let us know in the comments below what else can we do to make this game more appealing to the user well that's a wrap on this video on how to create a car racing game with the help of html css and javascript i hope you guys must have got a good idea about how to use these technologies to create a game of your own and then enjoy playing it if you still have any doubts related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and our team of experts will definitely answer them for you. So thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and keep learning with Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.